Well, it's 18 days late, but I thought I would do my end of year review. So here it is. I'll start by going over the channel, how well it's doing. Basically, it's gone down the shitter. This is the whole of 2018. Mid-2018, it was doing really, really well. Uh, basically, where the algorithm selected me for some reason, and my channel was doing brilliantly. Now, it's in steady decline, and it's showing no sign of recovery. And we'll go into 2019, and so far in 2019, it's showing no no change to that trend, it's basically the same. In regards to the shed, it produced more power than it's ever, ever done before. So 726.8 kilowatt hours, coming in at 103 pounds worth. That's mainly because that lithium ion battery installed from the Mitsubishi Outlander. It's a huge capacity and I can discharge power into my car or use it in the shed or for whatever I want and the battery still stays reasonably well discharged so there's always room for energy in it very rarely it gets up to 4 volts per cell which is my set point for considering it fully charged just so I can make it last many many years so regarding future projects there will not be as much refrigeration I don't think but I do have one project coming up where I plan to make a large sort of cold sink, basically a large block of ice which will be frozen by that BD35F compressor I've got and I can run copper pipes through that with antifreeze in them so I can get cool liquid to where I need it and it will just be powered off the solar. Mostly I'm going to be focusing my efforts on, on film because I'm planning on starting a business of that so basically what can happen is people can send me their digital images and I can make slides from those. I've uh, pretty much got the process perfected for that. All I need to do is get myself a 4K monitor to up the quality. Also, I'm planning on getting a 3D printer and printing parts with which to make a 16mm linear processing machine so I can process 100 feet of film or more all in one go rather than using the Lomo tank which provides acceptable results but not as good as a linear processing machine and I also plan to make some sort of contact printing system where I can people can send me their 60mm negatives from their cameras I can develop them and then put them onto Kodak positive release film and that will allow them to basically project their films without going all the expense of the E6 process and Whitner Chrome film which is horrendously expensive I can uh, provide that service for people and if it is successful enough and makes enough money I will cut down one shift at Amazon so I can spend more time doing what I enjoy because I really really just do not enjoy working at Amazon at all um, and it's mainly because they don't recognise talent even if it came and slapped them in the face. The recruitment process is such that if you can talk corporate bullshit, you will get the job. The problem is I don't talk corporate bullshit, I just tell things how, how they are. So although I could probably run circles around most of the engineering folk there, or at least be equal with them, uh, they're not interested. They, they don't care that all, all the skills that I have and all the things that I can do so I'm planning on cutting down my hours there as much as I can afford in regards to the BMW i3 uh, it's still going fine um, I'm not planning on changing my car anytime soon unless the i3 becomes too expensive to maintain like if for example the motor inverter was to burn out or something catastrophic like that but I'm not expecting that to happen for the next two years at least. Um, it is losing range. It's lost about roughly 12 miles of range since I got it back in 2015. So it's, that's quite high degradation for an electric car. Usually you only expect to be losing maybe about four miles. So uh, 
it is a bit higher than expected and that's even with me not fully charging it unless I need to so I'm not sure what's going on there maybe it's me driving too hard and fast that, that's maybe that's maybe what it is but other than that that's pretty much it from me just now and uh, thanks for watching